Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Drew back again with another video for all you American soccer fans out there. And in this one, we're going to be talking about DC United's newest acquisition, the Peruvian winger slash attacking midfielder Edison Flores. Now, if you guys don't know who Edison Flores is, first of all, um, a little background on your boy Drew. I am a Peruvian, a Peruvian American soccer supporter, so clearly I support both USA and uh, Peru. Uh, I've gone to a couple of Peru games uh, so far in my in my all my years. <laughs> um, I actually have a vlog uh, at me with my family at a Peru game, which I'll leave down in the description box. You guys can check it out. I was like two years ago now, and I was really cringy back then. But go ahead and go like that and make fun of it because I make fun of myself. Uh, anyway, Edison Flores is a player who I think has caught my eye uh, in recent years, in the past three years since supporting Peru's national team. He's come onto the team about, like I said, about three years ago. He's helped Peru get to the 2019 Copa America. He's helped um, them, you know, have a decent performance in the 2018 World Cup, where he played lots of lots of the minutes in all those games. Um, he's got 13 goals so far with Peru in the national team, and he is leaving the Liga MX side Morelia. I hope I said that right. Morelia with you know 12 goals and six assists in only 47 matches. Um, and I think I think I would say that's pretty decent as you know a winger and as mostly a winger. Uh, where he plays his game. Uh, so, you know, that's pretty good. And first of all, he's only 25 years old. I'm really excited that DC United went ahead and replaced Wayne Rooney uh, with a much younger player uh, who has got who has a big, big ceiling over him. I think this guy, Flores, has a big potential on him. You know, he's very pacey. He's very, you know, elusive. He's a good dribbler. He's got good skill moves to get around defenders and opposing op opposition. Like, this guy is like I believe is going to be the real deal one day. Hopefully, you know, he is one of my family's favorite players. You know, he does have a nickname in the proving community, or I think it's pretty well known now. They call him Edison Orejas Flores. Orejas in English means ears, and as you can see here, he does have very uh, noticeable ears. But you know, that is not really an offensive word to him. I, I'm he's pretty aware of the nickname he has. This is mostly just um, you know, a, almost like a term of endearment in like. I don't know, the Peruvian Latin community or whatever. So, you know, don't get too upset about it if you hear people call him Orejas uh, while you're out supporting DC United. I, myself, am not a big DC United supporter because, you know, I'm mostly a Philadelphia Union supporter and that, that's not really going to be okay if I support DC United. I only support this acquisition and this transfer that DC United have gotten because I think there are lots of Peruvian, stri uh, you know, Peruvian players out there who don't get the recognition as, say, maybe Colombian players, Brazilians, uh, Argentinians. You know, Peru, the national team has come a long way. They're almost in the same boat as a U.S. Uh, USA national team because Peru has been, you know, disappointing time and time again after years of suffering. My family has watched Peru just suck. But these last two, three years, they seem to really be on track to be able to compete with the big boys and also produce pretty quality talent. You know, MLS has has already have their fair share of Peruvians. You know, Edison Flores is going to go ahead and join players like Raul Rudiaz, who plays for Seattle Sounders, Andy Polo as well. All those are are all three of those are Peruvian international players. So um, I think that's going to be a really, really good move for DC United. Um, I'm sure you DC fans out there are kind of excited, but if you guys don't know who we are, I, you know, take it from me, your boy Drew, if you're watching this video or this channel, subscribe first of all. Second of all, take my word, this guy is going to be your best player. I'm not going to go ahead and say he's the best player now, you know, we got players like Bill Hamid in, in United, we got uh, players like Paul Areola, like, he's still got to show his mark, I mean, make his mark here, not just in DC, but also in MLS, and I, I'm pretty sure if he goes and starts scoring, ripping up this league, he's going to be like maybe the next Miguel Almiron, you know, he's going to be ripping it up in MLS and probably get a big transfer in a couple years to a European side. Um, I think Edison Flores is going to be a tremendous, tremendous help to DC United to help fill that void that was left by Wayne Rooney after he left uh, this last season. So I think Flores is going to fit in well. Like I said, he plays mostly on the wings, but he could also adapt to play down the middle as like a second striker or, or like, like an attacking midfielder, if that makes you feel like better like he, he i think is gonna be such a like i can't even talk about how excited i am my dad actually sent me a, a screenshot of flores off his transfer to dc united and i was like dude i already know i'm gonna make a video about it <laughs> but i am very very excited i really hope that this is gonna be a good workout i mean a good you know fit for edison flores this is gonna be 
Uh, from the video that I saw, or from the announcement video that DC released, it looks like he's he's gonna have the number ten shirt, and I think that's a really good deal. You know, I think the best players should wear the number ten because the best players, I mean, because the best player in the world, Lionel Messi, does wear the number ten shirt. So uh, it just makes sense. Um, the Flores joins Paul Ariola as one of uh, DC United's uh, DP spots. You know, so Paul and Flores are both gonna fill up that DC um, that DP spot for DC United. Such a fucking tongue twister if you say DP and DC close together. Um, DC, of course, still have one more DP spot left. Hopefully, they use it for someone as good, maybe as better than Ariola and Flores. But I think, nonetheless, $5 million transfer for Flores is a fucking bargain. Especially with the potential that he can show, or that he does show, it's going to be very, very, very exciting. And you, got, you guys best believe I'm going to be watching a lot more DC United games, only because... I just want Flores to succeed. Hopefully, I I wish the union bought him instead, but whatever. And the coolest thing about Flores actually is the second he he signed up uh, his contract with DC United, he went around and looked up you know Peruvian ch- uh, rotisserie chicken places in the DC area because that is the the staple in Peruvian uh, cuisine. So that's good. Very quick video today. I just want to give you guys my quick excited thoughts about this transfer. I have another video video coming tomorrow or probably later tonight depending on how much sleep I get. It's going to be about Brian McBride, the new general manager for the U.S. Men's National Team. That is a huge fucking deal. You guys have no idea. Um, I'm sure you guys have read mo- many, many posts about it already. It's been out for a couple days now. I'm very behind because I suck. Anyway, that video and my response, I mean, my, that video and that reaction to that from your boy Drew will be out either tomorrow or later tonight. Uh, So keep an eye out for that. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for kicking with me. And be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions on this transfer for DC down below. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.